everybody, it's Mike Fingal. Welcome back to another wonderful edition of Collector's Haven. Uh, today we have a very special, special, special guest. Yes, yes. We have Wonder Mama in the house. Yes, we do. Hello. Do you know hello. that she... Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. I Thank was just you gonna... for having me. I was just going to tell them that you're you're a childhood friend of Wonder Woman. Yes, yes. People mistake me. They think I'm trying to. I am Wonder Woman, or I'm trying to be Wonder Woman. But in fact, I am not Wonder Woman. I'm her, her more homely childhood friend. Oh my God, home. You are not homely, darling. You're not homely. <laughs> I can tell you that much right now. Um, just a little bit of background on you. You've been um, here in the states, or well, you're in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Uh, since 2015 so obviously you got off the island yes so. yes i migrated from the island when i realized that the world needed saving and it needed some cheering up so i thought i would leave the island and come to the outside world and cheer the world up a little bit excellent and now uh, what island was that again it's not the one nope. It's not Paradise Island. I'm not no. from Paradise Island. I'm from an adjacent island in the same region as Wonder Woman. I come from Glamazon Island. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now is, are, are there boats between the two, or how do you get back and forth between the islands? We fly. We have little jets that fly. We have little, little jets, and uh, one day I accidentally stumbled upon an island, and I discovered this island of Amazon women and made friends with young little Diana and uh, and the rest is history. Oh my goodness. She got she got the movie right. She got the TV show and the comic books and and I get to do these videos. But that's okay. I'm not bitter at all. I'm not bitter at all. You shouldn't. You're glamorous. There, there's no big exactly. at all. I mean you've been how... you you've you've done charity events, you've been to um, conventions you've you've been on television news stories so i mean yes you are helping the world you're helping the world aren't you i am i am i'm trying to cheer it up a little bit now i see um ha have you spoken to wonder woman recently no we haven't been she's just too busy with the movies and stuff coming out so she's just uh she's you know a bit preoccupied at the moment with uh with a lot going on so yeah so is, is that the reason why uh, you collect on her? That's exactly it. I try to keep the memory alive. I try to, you know, uh, keep, uh, keep a little bit of memorabilia happening here. So this is uh, my little shrine here, my little Wonder Woman shrine. And, and how long have you been collecting on your good friend? Um, I have been collecting, I would say it's probably been about 20, 25 years, but I've been a big fan since I was very little. Um, and I had a few pieces when I, when I was a little, when I was a little one and, um, and it just grew from there. It grew when the internet, when I got the internet and I was able to online shop and that's when it exploded. Of course. But do you, do you have some exclusive items from paradise, um, paradise Island? Um, from paradise? Well, I have got a section here. This section here guys is, I don't know what I'm showing you. I can't tell what I'm showing you. This is all my Australian license stuff from Australia. So I keep a section of my collection, which is all Australian memorabilia, all Australian license stuff. And, um, I was lucky enough to find, I don't know if you can see it. Let me try and flip this a minute. Hang on a minute. Sorry, Mike. Let me flip this. Totally fine. Now, if you see up there, there is a scooter in a box. So there's a little scooter. Um, it says folding kick scooter. That is, I found that on a website called Gumtree, which is like, I guess in America, it's like the equivalent to Craigslist. Um, or something like that. It's like a, a just a general um, online market thing. And it was $15. And it turns out that it is a prototype that was only one of them produced. So I am so ecstatic to have found that. I had to drive like an hour away to get it. And, um, and the lady told me that her husband worked for a company that... Um, that created these prototypes for a company that was going to manufacture them and it never got produced. And, um, and it's amazing. It's in the box. It's in a fabulous full color box and everything. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy to have that. That's one of my Australian, my rare Australian collectibles that I have, but a lot of this stuff comes from um, like a uh, Warner brothers movie world and just Australian licensed stuff. Wow. So they've, they've actually released a lot of stuff from in, 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 
over there in Australia. That's excellent. Yeah, no, we from not as much as the USA, but we still get some nice stuff every you know from time to time. We're we're pretty lucky sometimes. So with your collection, do you focus on just the movie or the comic book or Linda Carter's creation? What do you? No, I'll show you what I've got. So I collect pretty much anything. So behind me here at the moment is all my vintage. I've got two shelves of vintage collectibles. So I've got Mego dolls. I've got my Wonder Woman. Can you see that? I don't know what I'm showing you. Is my hand on the telephone? Yes. Yes, your hand's on the telephone. Why don't you switch Uh, it around so so I can look at them? Oh, okay. Hang on. (laughs) I love it. All right. Is that there? All right. So this is all my vintage stuff. So I've got old toys. I've got the telephone. I've got Mego dolls. They're the the loose Mego dolls. So this is my vintage section. Um, And then I move on here. This is my Linda Carter TV show section. So that is building up. So I've got all the Megos, which I found. I found all these box Megos in Australia on eBay, um, which was uh, like a miracle come true. It was just like amazing and that wasn't very that was like probably one of my most recent purchases it was very expensive well, not that expensive but it was actually quite well priced so this is my linda carter section and merchandise is slowly building for that like we're finding that there's a bit more linda carter stuff coming out recently um then i've got my gal Gadot movie section so i've got some pieces there these are custom um bus created by art department studios in the philippines they do custom limited edition bus so that's all that so i pretty much collect everything there's all pop funkos these are all my statues um and then this is just my mishmash of everything section so there's all tiny bits and pieces little figures little figurines that is action figures and dolls um i'm going to turn this way because then you're going to see the messy section so back around here and these are all the movie dolls so these are all the gal gadot wonder woman uh the first movie and wonder woman 1984 so that is i pretty much collect everything yeah um so that's that's pretty much it that's how i set it out beautiful beautiful what yeah what what was your very first piece do you remember that you collected Mm -hmm. My very first piece as a little as a little kid. Absolutely. What was your very okay? First well, piece? my very first piece was okay. All right. So this was the Wonder Woman pop up book. Was one of the very first things I um, wanted as a child. I actually remember going into. We saw this in a department store, and I just fell in love with it. I loved that um, there was the little section that she had her little lasso and it actually had a piece of string. Um, And I actually, it was actually quite expensive in the store and my sisters (laughs) wouldn't let me have it. They wouldn't buy it for me because it was too expensive. And I was crying. I was in the department store crying. Um, But a a week or so later, they actually did buy it for me. Um, This is actually not the original one. This is another one that I bought because my one got a bit damaged over the years. Um, So that is one of the very first things that I had um, as a little boy growing up. And secondly was the Wonder Woman A on mirror that was this is the original one that i have you can actually see it's broken on the back so that is one of the few things that i kept as a little boy um so there that is my wonder woman avon mirror that um i had as a little child as well and the other things that i had were like the mego dolls and um and a few other bits and pieces uh but uh yeah no so it was uh mainly the pop-up books that had a little bit of i never i I uh, don't forget that uh, that incident of not being able to have it and uh, crying in the department store. I, I, I had the same incidents too, not with one. <laughs> I didn't cry, although my mother was very sweet. She, uh, she did pull out that checkbook and, and wrote you know, some checks for some Charlie's Angels magazines for me. And oh, that's, fabulous. Yeah. To, so that said, what is your most prized possession in your, in your room there? Um, my most prized possession, I would say it is, oh, hang on, I'll flip you around. Okay, well, it's definitely the telephone. Um, the telephone, I, uh, friends bought me that for my, for a birthday of mine. It was online and it was for buy it now. And it was coming close to one of my big birthdays. And I said to a group of friends, I said, if you have to buy me anything, buy me this 
please buy me this, put it in all together and buy me this. And they did. So they bought me that. So I love that. The other thing that I've got, which is really rare, and and as a collector in Australia, it's very hard to collect stuff. Um, the shipping is very expensive. And also the time zone, things get sold very quickly. But one of the rare things that I got many years ago that a lady sold to me um, is this Wonder Woman dresser set. When I had my website, she contacted me and, um, and offered to sell me this. And I think I got it for a really good price. I got it for like a, a, about $150 US and I'm sure these go for a lot more and I've hardly ever seen this. So this is one of the rare pieces that I, re that I have in my collection. Um, so that is one of the vintage pieces. I've got that little uh, Valentine's Day card from the 40s. Um, I would also say, so that scooter is definitely, um, a big, uh, a big bonus for me. Um, what else have I got? Sorry, I'm just going to wiggle around a bit. And I, and oh, I, I love probably, Mike, I will probably, sorry, I'm going fast, but you can edit it. No, no, but you're I would totally definitely fine. say also it's the Mego dolls because they were a huge find for me because I got all five of the Mego dolls. I got the flyaway action and the force and the four in the box um, here in Australia, which is like I'd never have thought in a million years that that would ever happen, that I would find them here in Australia. Did so you, I took money out of my savings and I bought them straight away. Oh, yeah, those, so, those, um, those are pretty pricey. Did you, did you find them all with one collector sell them to you? Or? It was She sold them, the lady selling them sold them all as one collector. So she sold wow. them all together and um, yeah, so I just bought them. So, it, and it was, un no, I'm not going to tell you how much it cost, but um, <laughs> it wasn't too bad considering. I, 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 ref I told some friends about it, some US friends, and they said it was quite reasonable. So, um, so I, I, I just took the opportunity and, uh, and, and bought them. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Um, what do you love most about collecting? Um, I mean, collecting, I just love unusual items. I like uh, quirky. I See, now that I've set up this room, I actually set up my collectibles room during COVID. Um, I just moved into this place and I had this room that was going to be... Um, for my collection and I never got a chance to set it up up until I had the time in COVID that we were in lockdown and we weren't working as much. So this is, this room has only been set together very recently. Um, nice so project. now that I've got, sorry. Nice project. Yeah, it was, it was a big project actually. I had to buy all this. It was a mess. It was just like, yeah, it was just a, a, a huge mess in here. But um, what happened is I, now that I've got everything set up and I've got limited space, I'm really selective about what I collect now. So I don't collect absolutely everything, but I like quirky pieces. I like unusual stuff. Like I especially like shoes. So I've got like, um, I've got a collection of, I've got to fix this shelf up, but I've got a collection of cute shoes and things like that that come up every now and then. So I try and collect those. Um, hang on, where am I? Uh, yeah, so I just try and collect cool. I, I like the action figures and the dolls and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so my next question is, uh, is there a wacky story about a, getting a collectible? A wacky story about getting a collectible. I think, well, to be honest, I think the, the wackiest ones are the ones that I find here in Australia. I've managed to, like, I find that it's really hard to find uh, great collectibles in Australia. So um, when they pop up on eBay, it's usually a frantic, a frantic uh, effort to try and either bid on them or to purchase them or say like those Mego dolls or that, you know, traveling to some ridiculous place to get that um to get that scooter and all that sort of thing. So it's, um, I think it's just, I think it's like all collectors do it. We go crazy, you know, going to every McDonald's store to get all the premies and, and all the little toys that are out. So, um, Absolutely. But what, yeah. So, um, where do you pr primarily find your collectibles on eBay or, or do you look other places or, or how do you do it? Um, primarily eBay. I find a lot of things on eBay, um, and then also I look on Australian website called Gumtree. I actually missed out on, um, a Wonder Woman bicycle on, on Gumtree that was being sold in another state. 
and um, the bike was produced in New Zealand and I missed out on it. Um, the guy had sold it before um, we confirmed anything, um, which I was really disappointed about. And I haven't been able to get this bike. It was like a little, a kid's little uh, bicycle, 16 inch bicycle. But um, usually it's on places like Gumtree or eBay, like those Mego dolls came from eBay. So occasionally we get some good things pop up. And so it's just like a scramble to get them and, and make sure no one beats you to it. Exactly. Well, other than yeah. knowing uh, Wonder Woman herself, have you met Linda uh -huh. Carter, who, who played Wonder Woman? <gasps> I met her probably, I met her very briefly at a, at a show that she was doing at the Catalina Club. Is it the Jazz Club? I forgot what it's called, on Sunset Boulevard. And um, so, yes, I did meet her. I did meet her very briefly. She was rushing through everyone, though, very quickly and um, just shaking hands. She wasn't signing or anything. But, um, yes, I did meet her briefly. So that was, that was, uh, that was nice. Excellent. And, and what, what of the future films do you like better? Or <sighs> what, what is your favourite Wonder Woman TV show or, or movie? Oh God. Okay. Well, definitely with the new Gal Gadot films, I love the original, the first, the 2017 version. I'm going to probably get on the bad side of a few people. If I talk about Wonder Woman 84, um, I do. Um, I, I thought the ideas were good. I don't think it was well executed. So it wasn't my favorite. I still prefer the first one. Mm -hmm. um, also, I love the TV show. I'm j I just bought the Blu-ray set on, um, uh, on online. Yeah. So the TV show is fantastic. And I also enjoyed the Adrian Palicki um, version. Even that was terrible. Um, it's, it was a bit sad that it didn't get, uh, didn't go ahead. So that would have been great to have a Wonder Woman, a new Wonder Woman TV show. But um, the movies are fantastic and I love the animated versions as well. So yeah. 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 I, I, I understand what you're talking about. 84. It, 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 it was, there was a lot. They needed a lot. It was fantastic that they put the jet in. Um, yeah. I just felt the way they did some of it was not very good. I just didn't feel it was great. I felt so, that it was, 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 there's a whole yeah story. there was something going on there was something there i understand what they were trying to do but mm, I, it's not my favorite sorry out there i know there are a lot of people that love it but i'm sorry <laughs> it was beautiful she's beautiful in it I, I, I oh she's always stunning so gal is always stunning and she's a great wonder woman and we got to see um, linda again what was that and we got to see linda and we got to see Linda. That Yes, that was great that they wrote her into the story as something substantial and not just a silly cameo. So that was really, really good. So let's look a little bit more about your collection. Now you have some of the, um, you have some like uh, mannequins. What's, what's going on with the mannequins in your collection? Oh, the mannequins, I made that. That is my, um, that is my, hang on, let me just flip it around. Hang on a minute. Okay, now I, is it recording? I made this man. I created this mannequin probably about eight years ago, about five or six years. Yeah. Eight years ago or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, I put it all together. I sort of like constructed the costume out of different pieces. I made the breastplate and that sort of thing. Um, but I love her. So I just recently put on, gave her the shield and the sword, the Gal Gadot. So um, that was a little project that I did a few years ago and I love her. She's fabulous. She's got great hair. And then this is a little one that I did um, more recently, just as a little bust thing. Um, so she's got her earrings and everything. And I made the tiara based on a design that I saw in one of the comics. Those big statues there, they're created by Dennis from fine art sculptures in the Philippines as well. So Dennis has done a lot of um, commissions and stuff for a lot of the collectors and stuff, and he hand sculpts them. They're not digitally sculpted. So they're fabulous. They're half scale statues of Linda and Gao. Um, and he does a whole lot of other. So if you look him up, he's done a whole lot of other um, uh, Wonder Woman uh, sculpt. Uh, a bust and statues and that sort of thing. Oh. And then on the top there along the roof, hiding the, the, the bathroom pipes, I've got the lasso sh uh, spreading across and then it uh, hangs from the ceiling there. And, um, and there's Wonder Woman's hand and her bracelet bursting out from the ceiling. So that's my little artistic uh, um, installation there for, uh, 
for Wonder Woman holding the lasso and it stretches across the, the roof of the, of the room here. Well, that's gorgeous. I love that idea. Yeah. I love that idea. Um, can we look at that big bust of Linda Carter that's up on, up on the shelf over there? That bust, that bust, mm, that bust. Now, this bust here, um, it is a very big bust in terms of but. Hang on a minute. Is it recording? Yeah, we're recording, of course. Okay, we're recording. Okay, so that bust was also created by a sculptor in the Philippines. Now, to be honest, it was supposed to be Linda Carter, but to be the face did not come out like Linda Carter. Sorry, it's very high up, so I'm just trying to give you the angle as best as possible. Um, I still love it. I still think it's fabulous. It's sort of like a bit retro 70s Super Friends, but the costume is Linda Carter, but the face turned out nothing like Linda Carter. But I, I still loved it anyway. And a few other collectors. You. It kind of looks like sorry. It looks like you. I know she is busty. She's almost as busty as Wonder Woman. Yeah. I know. It's, I'm it's, thinking it's that astounding. you might that you might have been the inspiration yep. for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Wonder Mama existed when he looked, but possibly it could be possible. But yeah, so that's her there. But she, I still love her. She's a a life size bust, so she's really fabulous. And this one here, sorry, the bricks have fallen out. I sculpted that many years ago, so that you can't see it very well. But I sculpted her myself. Look at you making your own collectibles. I, I know. It. Look at that. I'm multi-talented. I love it. But yeah, so they're all my statues. But um, yeah, so, uh, but those busts were, yeah, that's a custom bust. And I don't think he's selling that anymore. I don't, that was quite a few years ago, actually. I know a few collectors bought that, but then um, a few collectors were actually put off that it didn't look like Linda in the end. But, um, but anyway, what can you do? And I, there's a lasso on the other side we just i just saw a peek up can we look at that lasso that's in the uh it's in a case i believe oh the lasso yes now this okay this um this prop set this gal Gadot lasso and prop set i won this at the movie premiere of the advanced screening of Wonder Woman 2017. So I won this for best costume. They thought I was fabulous and they rewarded me with uh, Wonder Woman's uh, lasso and tiara in this case. So, um, so I was very lucky to win that. So yeah, so that's how, that, that's how I got that. And I've seen a few of these for sale in different, different variations, but it's got um, the little sticker on it, headband and lasso of Hestia. But yeah, so that's how I got that. So I won that in the competition at the movie premiere for the first movie. And I bet they were wondering why you were not in the movie itself. That's, I was wondering that actually. I was, I was very bitter about it. That's why I went there to complain. But, um, but yeah, we're, we're, you know, I'm talking to their people. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll have a word with Patty Jenkins for the third movie. Next time I see her, I'll mention you. If Linda can get a cameo, God damn it, so can I. I know. You were childhood friends. I know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, the, Hollywood. The politics of Hollywood. Yes. Let's look at some of those, um, those Gog... <laughs> I can never say her name right. I'm so sorry. Please Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Uh, okay. The busts? The bus. Yeah. Okay. Now, these, okay, these two busts are created, as I mentioned earlier, art department studios in the Philippines. They do amazing work. They do a lot of these customers. They do a limited edition of about 30 pieces. These busts actually light up. So the bracelets actually light up, but I don't, I can't let them make them light up because they don't connect to the Australian, um, power sockets but um they're fabulous like the detail in it is amazing so they did two half scale busts of gal and um and her and her training armor when she's on paradise island so they're beautiful busts um also they're working on a life-size bust at the moment um of gal gadot and i think they've also got a linda carter one in the works this one this bust was actually created by them uh, a few years ago, and I think um, they're doing that um, as a, a full-scale bust at some point after they do the Gal Gadot. So that is art, uh, art department studios as well. They do amazing work. They've just done a Superman, um, Christopher Reeves, and um, uh, Clark Kent, Christopher Reeves, and they just are amazing. They just they get better and better. These guys. Um, they're not licensed. I shouldn't say that, but they're custom artisan pieces. So I still like to collect them anyway. It doesn't bother me if things aren't licensed. So as long as they're fabulous, I'll, I'll buy them. 
Nice, they are fabulous. And yeah. how, about, how about all the Funko? Can you show us your Funko? Collection? Oh, my Funkos. Funkos. Funkos are an addiction. Now, I collect what is just available in Australia. So if I know there are collectors out there that collect every single version with every sticker. I'm good friends with those kind of people. Jeter, Kim and Ryan, no names mentioned, but um, they will collect every version with every different sticker on it. I can't do that. I don't have the space. So I just collect what's available in Australia. And we're quite lucky in Australia because a lot of, uh, in America, a lot of the time you guys get exclusives that you have to go to certain stores, but we, that doesn't happen here in Australia. We still manage to get um, the exclusives just in mainstream stores here. So we don't have to run around everywhere or buy them on at Walmart or, or somewhere like that. So we're quite lucky in that respect. See, my one, my Wonder Woman 84 stuff is, is overflowing. So I, it's driving me crazy. I have to, it's overflowing and it's on the floor. There's just too much stuff. So, um, so yeah, but in terms of Funko, I love Funkos and I've got all the, the newer ones that they bring out for the Wonder Woman's 80th anniversary. So yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we look at your stuffed Wonder Woman's or your? Um... Can I show you though? I'm going to show you. Not my. I'm going to show you now. Uh, can I show you one of the first things that I bought on the internet? Yes. Show me. Show me. Show me. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show. You, where is it? Let me find the other one. Where's the other one? All right. Okay. Just let me get sorted. My light's gone out. Hang on, light. Come on. Wake up. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Hang on. I'm trying to get the light. It's a sensor light. Okay. All right, now these three, these couple of pieces are the first things that I bought when I got the internet. I discovered Warner Brothers Studio Store in online, and um, when I started getting the internet, I was on message boards and that sort of thing. And um, back then, you had to do th there was no PayPal; it was crazy. So that statue, that Warner Brothers um, statue there in the background there was one of the very first things that I bought from Warner Brothers Studio Store. It was one of my very first online purchases and I adore that statue. And also the next things that I bought on eBay were these Hallmark statues, these little statuettes or whatever you call them. I don't know what um, these little figurines. They were some of the very first things that I bought when I got the internet. Um, so I, I adore those. Um, yeah, so they're my favourite things. And I just love the... the, the, the um, the the interpretation of them so that's like classic george perez 80s wonder woman and those are the golden age and um and fabulous so i really really love those so they're my, some of my favorite pieces those are beautiful look at all yeah. of them yeah so that's a new acquisition as well this prop set there's a couple of different prop sets that had come out and down here let me get on my knees these are all my model kits. These, these are actually some model kits that I made. Like I sculpted that funny looking lady and that one as well. Um, some of those are model kits and some of those, two of those, that big one in the background there and that one there, um, they're from Brazil. They're overseas unlicensed um, statuettes, but the rest are little model kits that, um, that I put together myself. So um, that's my little section down there of model kits. Um, yeah, these are all dolls and action figures so i keep all dolls and action figures i've actually not been collecting as many action figures anymore like i've got a few uh, all of the ones that i have are in boxes or in storage um down there is dc superhero girl stuff um that's all dc super it's a jumbled mess here at the moment but it's here so um so dolls and action figures this is my dolls and action figures section um yeah, and don't well, I can't go over that way because that's where everything's stored and it's a big mess. So, um, so action figures I haven't been collecting as much because there's just always so many. Um, but yeah, and these are all just tiny things, tiny, crazy, annoying things that I've just stacked up. So, um, I'm very lucky because I've got my friend Kim and Ryan in America that they buy things for me. If I see something and I say, Oh, can I get this? And I, and I have it shipped to them and they ship it to me. So I'm very lucky in that respect, but I've been trying to, uh, um, you know, control myself lately because I've got costumes to pay for. I've got to look fabulous. You do, you do. Do you, do you find uh, there was a point with the new movies that uh, they started making a bunch of new Wonder Woman stuff or was there? Oh a my God. With the collectibles. 
Oh, God, uh, Mike, I can't keep up, especially um, I'm in the collectors groups, which are mainly American collectors. We've got, I run an Australian Wonder Woman collectors group, but we really get like not even a quarter of what comes out in, in America. So, um, like with Wonder Woman 84, the guys are always showing me new stuff that is coming out. Um, but it is, it's crazy. I can't, like, I can't keep up because it was just, I don't have the room. And also I don't, and it's quite expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. So, um, yeah, I try and now I try and make sure I stick to Australian stuff. So if Australian stuff comes out, which is, this is all Australian stuff. Um, I try and collect it. I like books. I've got a little library book. I've got to fix that up and display that properly. Um, a little library of, of books that I collect. Um, and if I try and get vintage stuff, then great. But all the new stuff, I, it's just too much. I can't, I can't keep up. Yeah. But you yeah. look like you're doing well. I'm doing well. This is from 20, you know, about 25 years of collecting and here i've got a little that's my little shelf of masters of the universe i used to collect masters of the universe as a little boy and what happened is um a few years back probably about five or six years i sold my original collection and now i really regret it so i've actually been building up the collection of um original master of the universe figures as well um and that's a slow process because they're quite they're quite expensive and hard to find in very good condition and these are all my plushies so i love my plushies um, I try and collect plushies where I can so that's all my plushies and I've got a giant one over here that um, I got on eBay she's massive um, and I think Kim sent that to me but yeah so that's um, yeah so that's that's that so far you have a terrific collection your friend thank you so much happy with you what was that? Your friend should be probably is so happy with you. <laughs> My childhood friend, yes, she should be very happy with me. Like she gives me attitude though. What? She gives me attitude sometimes, but that's all right. We're good oh, friends. You know, we, we, we bounce off each other. We're fine. Those women on Paradise Island, what do you, what do you expect? <laughs> that's it. Honestly. They've been there too long. Can we talk? Can, can we talk? There's no men. <laughs> that's exactly, exactly. So is there anything that you are desperately looking for for your collection Ooh, you know what i would like well now i've got the, the 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 big megos i would like a little the little mego in a box uh she's a bit hard to get out hang on a minute she's here tucked in behind i've only got an original mego in a repro box and i would like to have one in the original box but they're really hard to come by so I have to keep a better eye on US eBay and, and try and buy one one day. But um, I would like one of those. What else would I like? You know what I did? I went through a period that I actually sold some vintage stuff that I shouldn't have sold, um, such as the Wonder Woman uh, bot bag. Um, I sold that regrettably. So there was a couple of things that I regrettably sold um, a few, many years back. But um, one day I'm hoping to reacquire them somehow. But there's a lot of vintage stuff that's amazing. Yeah. Um, my friend Kyle, Kyle, who's another massive collector, he's much bigger than me. He's um, got amazing vintage stuff. He's got some amazing vintage pieces as well. And same with some of the, uh, a lot of the American collectors as well. It's just so hard to, you know, to get some pieces here in Australia. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's a challenge, a challenge. Yeah. And it's mostly the, the shipping. Shipping's always a challenge. Shipping, shipping, and then also a lot of it's buy it now as well, like on eBay. So things can get snapped up really quickly before yeah. we even see it. So there's a lot of buy it now stuff and, um, and make an offer. So, you know, you can make an offer and the seller will, it's not like the old days where you used to have to bid on stuff and it will go for days and days now it can go straight away so yeah it's crazy uh so yeah. if someone out there has those items where they can where can they reach you well you can find me on my website the fabulous i'm on, on on i've got my website i've got instagram i've got facebook so it, i'm pretty much easy to find and you'll and you'll see me in a lot of the collectors groups as well so yeah nice 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 no worries well, I want to thank you so much. It's just wonderful to a, meet you. Um, thank you so much. And it was lovely to, to be able to do the video. So thank you so much for inviting me along. And uh, yeah, it was wonderful.
thank you for sharing all of your amazing collection. The, the no worries it's a pleasure it was i've been wanting to to do a little video for so long so this was a great opportunity so yeah you know, I've, I've interviewed uh two other uh, wonder woman collectors also already and what i yes, love i saw those videos i know christopher and i know john yeah i mean what i love about yeah. collectors there's always something different in a person's collection even if it's the same yes. items or the same genre and uh that's right sharing all your sydney finds and that one big find that that no one else has you should be <sighs> the queen bee with that one i know i know i love that so that's fabulous all those collectors must be envious of you i'm sure yes not only of your it beauty but of that that's a slide around whatever you, whatever they were called i don't know what they call it <laughs> the scooter yes the scooter the scooter I yeah know, don't know what you people call the scooter. I, that's why i keep my address secret so no one can find me that's this right. is my secret lair I know it's it, you know you're used to that being from you know the, gla the, the glamour island you know yes glamour's on island is a secret Glamazon. island yes yeah you know, because it's secretive and people can that's right it. can you ever uh, do you ever go back to the island uh from time to time I do I'm like Wonder Woman who reckons she who says she can't get back to her island I do go back as often as I can, but I'm very busy. I'm very busy with my glambassadorial duties. That's true. That's being true. a glambassador and being fabulous. I've got lots to do here. So I, I don't often get back, get, get to go back there very often. Well, I know, I know with COVID it's been crazy, but you have stuff coming up that people come see you? Um, stuff coming up. Yes. Well, I've actually got my own Wonder Mama storybook that I illustrated and published not too long ago. It's a self-published storybook and I've got a coloring book as well. So now restrictions have lifted a little bit here in Australia. So, um, there's events happening, there's conventions. So this month I'm actually next weekend, I'll be at a queer market promoting the book. And the week after that, I'll be flying to Melbourne in my jet um wow. to promote my storybook and my coloring the book at uh supernova comic convention which is on in melbourne uh, in a couple of weeks Excellent. so i'm trying to get out there and promote the books a bit more and um yeah so and that's and a storybook that i yeah and people can buy those on your what through your website right they can buy that through the website and I have a Wonder Mama Etsy store, which the website links to. So they sold through my Etsy page on, um, on, uh, on, yeah, through my website. Exactly. Look people out there. She, yeah, it's just the story. It just Mama explains. Needs to keep glamorous. She needs to keep glamorous. So you have to purchase the stuff. Purchase her Exactly. Stuff. I need to pay for these outfits. No, no. It was just a fun little project that I put together just to explain because a lot of people mix me up. They think they, they see me on the street and they go, oh, Wonder Woman. And I'm like, no, I'm actually Wonder Mama. And um, so I try to differentiate that I'm not trying to be Wonder Woman as much as I love her and we love each other. We're childhood friends. Um, there is a bit of um, discrepancy as to who came up with the costume first. Um, I believe it was my idea and she stole it from me. But, um, but anyway, that's just a childhood. That might be some of the tension between you two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, you know, we, 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 we're tight. We're tight. But we, you know, we just have a few issues every now and then. I maybe suggest friendship therapy, but that's... <laughs> that might... mm -hmm. She's just too busy. She's always making excuses that she can't make it. So... So, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. When she's got time, you know, I understand. She's a busy lady. Wow. But we love Wonder Woman and we love you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Everybody thank out you, there. Thank you, Mark. Th you, thank you. Th everybody out there in Collector's Haven world, thank you for watching. Please share us, share the video so you can spread the love of Wonder Woman. And uh, if you have a collection out there, I would love to chat with you on my next show. So just hit me up online. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Pleasure. Mwah. Mwah.